Calamity Crow Kids Crafting. Hi! Today we're going to make a piñata. Exciting! For that you need tissue paper, white crafting glue and a little water, a paintbrush, scissors, toothpicks and a rubber band, colored paper, and a balloon. I like it! Start by mixing the glue with the water. It should be as much glue as water, so that it becomes fluid and easy to brush out. Okay! Something like this. Then mix thoroughly. What is that supposed to be anyway? Tear the tissue paper into pieces. Something like this. A piece of cake? <laughs> That's a lot of paper. Then brush some glue onto the balloon. I'm really gonna try that! Put on a strip of tissue paper and brush on even more glue. Glue, glue, glue! Use quite a lot of glue so the entire piece of paper gets wet. And then continue with the next strip. Add the tissue paper strip and brush the glue on top. Hurry up a little! Do this all over the balloon until everything but the knot on the balloon is covered. Add a few layers of tissue paper so that the piñata doesn't get too thin. You betcha! Let it dry overnight. Then it will look something like this. We did this yesterday. It looks good, doesn't it? Classy! And there we have the knot. That looks strange. Take the scissors and cut off the knot like this. Be careful with the scissors! Then we just cut the hole a little bigger. Cutty cut cut! Not too much, just enough to be able to fill the piñata later. Oh, there's the scissors again! Cut cut cut! This will be good enough. Great! Then we'll try to winkle out the balloon that's still inside. Looks a bit tricky. Just use your finger and rub it a little on the inside to release the balloon from the inside of the piñata. Then just take it out. There you go. Wow! And now we're ready to decorate the piñata. What fun! I'm going to show how to easily make a bird. We simply use colored paper that we glue onto the piñata. Okay! You can cut out small circles in different sizes of white and black paper and just glue them together to make these kinds of eyes. Oh. Then glue them onto the piñata. Put some glue on the back and press it onto the bird. If you have a glue gun, it's best if an adult takes care of the gluing. Glue, glue, glue. And we'll do the same with the other eye. Easy as pie. There. Great. Now this little bird will get a beak. All right. The beak we simply make by taking a yellow paper and fold it like this. Use the scissors and cut in an angle, like this. Be careful! And then in the opposite angle, like this. There! Now we have a beak. <sighs> you can fold it a little like this too, so it becomes a little easier to glue it on. It looks easy! Then just put on some glue and attach it to the piñata. Glue, glue, glue! <laughs> There you go! Beautiful! Then you can cut out the wings in the shape that you want and glue them on the sides. Is that really gonna work? If you want the wings to stand out, you can fold the edge in this way. Then just put on a little glue and press firmly like this. It looks amazing! Then we'll do the same with the other wing. A piece of cake! Fold the edge. Put on a little glue and press firmly. There! Now it's time to fill the piñata. You can fill it with whatever you like. Small toys, confetti, stickers or gum. We fill our piñata with candy. Use as much as you want. Use a lot of that! <laughs> 
stop this! There, now our piñata is full. Great! Then we'll just attach the rubber band to hang the piñata. Take two toothpicks and cut off the pointed ends. It's probably best if an adult does that. Then place the rubber band around the toothpicks like this. This is going smoothly. Put glue on the ends of the toothpicks. Glue, glue, glue. And put the toothpicks into the opening of the piñata. Aha! Hold until the glue dries. Easy as pie. There. Our piñata is ready. Woohoo! It looks fantastic. Here you see other suggestions of figures that you can do. Beautiful! Hi! Today we're making a fun game out of a plastic bottle. How nice! For that we need a spun cotton ball, a bit of yarn, a pipe cleaner, and the top half of a plastic bottle. It's best if an adult cuts the bottle in half first. It's probably best if an adult does that. We start by taking the spun cotton ball and the pipe cleaner. Bend and fold the pipe cleaner double and stick it through the ball, like this. It looks easy. <laughs> Make a small loop of the pipe cleaner on one side, like this. Okay! And on the other side, we just twist and turn the pipe cleaner so that it stays put. You betcha! Then we take the yarn and pull it through the loop. Aha! Looks a bit tricky out there. And tie it with a double knot, like this. A piece of cake! Come on! There! Yes! Remove the cap of the bottle. I want to do that! <laughs> Dip the other end of the yarn into the opening, like this. Yep. And screw the cap back on. This is going smoothly. There you go. Now our bottle game is ready. Woohoo! The idea is to hold the bottle in one hand and swing the ball in the yarn and then try to catch it with the bottle in the air. You need a little more space than we got here, preferably outdoors. You can also paint and decorate your bottle game in any way you like. Here, for example, we made a bird by cutting the bottle like a beak and glued on some tissue paper and paper ice. Wow, it looks great! Here are some more examples that we have made. Beautiful! Hi! Today we're going to do Calamity Crow in Play-Doh. Yay! For that you need Play-Doh in these colors. Blue, red, orange, white, green, and some black play-doh. All right! It can also be useful to have this kind of ordinary table knife. Do not use a sharp knife. We start by making the body. Okay! Take a fairly large lump, something like this. Save a lump for the head and the wing. Roll the play-doh into a bowl so that it becomes smooth and fine. You can roll it on the table or between your hands. It looks easy! Once it becomes round, put it on the table and shape it so that it becomes wider at the bottom and narrower at the top. Is that really gonna work? Pinch a small tail feather at the rear. A piece of cake! Something like this. Classy! This will be good at the body. What is that supposed to be anyway? <laughs> Flatten it a bit on the top where the head is going to be. Then take a good size piece for the head and roll it into a ball. Aha! Then attach it to the body. There. Fantastic! Then take a small piece of Play-Doh and form it to a wing. Flatten and shape it into a drop like this. I want to do that! Something like that. Woohoo! Then use the knife to make the fingers. Watch your fingers! Like this. Easy as pie. Then just press it to the side of the body. Perfect! On the other wing, Calamity Crow usually have a plaster. You betcha! We do this with a piece of white Play-Doh. Exciting! Shape it in the way that you want. Hurry up a little! 
like this perhaps. Yes! And attach it to the other side of the body. How nice! Now we'll make Calamity's cap. Take a piece of white Play-Doh and form a small ball. This is going smoothly. Put it on the table and flatten it gently to a low cone-shaped hat. Yeah! Something like this. Oh, that's really nice! And just press it onto Calamity's head. Be careful! <laughs> then we take a little red for the edge. Great! Take a fairly small piece and roll it into a long narrow shape. This is so much fun! <laughs> then put it around Calamity's cap. I like it! And just remove the excess if it's too long. And put a little red tassel on the top of the cap. Beautiful! There! So neat! Calamity Crow's eyes we do by rolling two small white balls. All right! I want to try! Something like this. Aha! Take the knife and carefully make two holes where the eyes should be. Easy now! Then just press the eyes in the holes. There. Is that right? And there. It turned out just great! Then take a teeny weeny bit of black and roll it into two small pupils that you just press firmly onto the eyes. Looks a bit tricky out there. <laughs> there. All right! Calamity scarf we do by taking a piece of red Play-Doh and roll it into a long strip. My favorite thing! <laughs> Put it around Calamity's neck and flatten a little. Hmm. There. Hooray! We'll make the beak by taking a piece of orange Play-Doh and shape it into a cone like this. Here, you have to hold your tongue. <laughs> Is that really going to work? There. Yep, there it was. You can try to shape it a bit more like this to make it more beak shaped if you like. Beautiful! And then you just attach it below the eyes like this. Careful now! There! Wow! To make the feet, we first take a bit of white Play Doh because Calamity Crow usually have a foot in plaster. Yeah! <laughs> Roll a small ball, press it a little, and attach it like this. And his green shoe we make in the same way. Let's make another one. Roll a small ball. Yep. <laughs> this was fun. Press and attach. Great. There. Now Calamity Crow is finished. Look at that. That's me. Looking great. You can try to do several Heroes of the City characters in Play-Doh. Here's how it turned out when we tried to make a few of them. Wow. It looks amazing. Hi! Today we're going to do a pom-pom monster. What fun! For that you need... Yarn. Cardboard or sturdy paper. Pipe cleaners. Felt fabric or colored paper. Glue. Scissors. A pen. And googly eyes. It seems exciting! We start by taking two cardboard or sturdy paper pieces and put them together. You betcha! Then we draw a circle on it. Okay! Take something round as a template. We use a roll of tape. Put it on the papers and draw around it so you get a round circle. It looks easy! There. Then use a template that is smaller than the first one. We use the top of a color tube and draw a small circle inside the first circle. Here, you have to hold your tongue. Something like this. Then cut out the circle with the scissors. So it looks like this. Neat! Two separate rings. 
that we're going to use together like this. Oh! Then we take the yarn and cut off a piece. You can take a fairly long piece, for it will be used folded. Watch your fingers! Put the ends together and fold the yarn. I want to do that! <laughs> like this. Then we take the end that is folded, so it forms a loop, like this. We put the loop through the paper rings, like this, from the inside and out. Then take your fingers through the loop and grasp the twine and pull it back through the loop like this, so that the yarn is attached to the paper rings. Then just wrap the yarn around the rings in this way. I did that yesterday! Drabby dabby dabby doo! <laughs> Continue all the way around. Yep! This takes a little while. You will have to add more yarn several times. When you run out of yarn, just attach a new piece in the same way as the first one and proceed to wrap around the yarn until it looks like this. Wow, it looks great! The hole in the middle should be filled. You can have a use for a needle at the end. How exciting! You can of course choose any color of the yarn. You can also choose different colors every time you take new yarn. Then you will make a colorful monster. At the end, just cut the yarn. Be careful with the scissors! Then we take the pipe cleaners and put them through the middle so they stick out on each side of the yarn ball. That looks strange. This will become the monster's arms and legs later. There! Then take the scissors and carefully cut the yarn in this way. Oh, there's the scissors again! Cut until you get down to the paper rings, and then try to get the scissors in between them. It's probably best if an adult does that! It can be a bit tricky. Once you have succeeded to put the scissors between the paper rings, just continue to cut up the yarn ball all the way around. Scissors is a bit scary, I think. If it's too difficult, it can be good to ask an adult for help. When you're ready, it should look something like this. It turned out just great! Pull the paper rings a bit apart, so you have room to tie in the middle. Take a piece of yarn and tie it between the paper rings. Tie preferably several times and tighten it so the yarn ball stays together. Is that really gonna work? <laughs> if you tie too loose, there's a risk that the yarn ball falls apart, so be sure to tie properly. There you go. Then cut off the ends. Cutty cut cut. Then we remove the paper rings. Carefully cut in the rings like this. Be careful not to cut off the piece of yarn that you just have tied in the middle. This is so much fun! Then it's just to remove the paper rings and fluff the pom-pom. It almost looks like my great grandmother. <laughs> The pipe cleaners will now be the pom-pom monster's arms and legs. There you go. That's not bad. Now we put the hands and the feet on the pipe cleaners. We make them out of felt fabric. You can also use colored paper. There are no rights or wrongs. Pom-pom monsters can look just like you want them to. We have started like this. It looks amazing! Remember to cut the hands and feet with double felt fabric or paper so that you get two pieces. Yeah! Glue them together with a pipe cleaner in between, like this. Put some glue on one piece like this. Glue, glue, glue. Press the pipe cleaner to it. Don't get tangled up in the glue! <laughs> then you can take a little more glue. So there and press on the second piece. Watch your fingers! There you go. That looks strange. If you want to, you can put ears on the monster too. Short or long, large or small. Cut out the ears on freehand or draw them first. Use double fabric so you only need to cut once and then the ears will be the same size if you want them to. Cut, 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 cut. Cutty, cut, cut. 
Then just glue them onto the monster. Glue. Glue, glue, glue. And press. Glue, glue, glue. Glue. <laughs> and press. There. Now it's time for the eyes. Great! We use these kinds of googly eyes that you can buy in craft shops. If you don't have any, you can make your own eyes out of felt fabric or paper. Put on a drop of glue and press firmly. And the same with the other eye. Glue and press. Then we cut out a mouth that we do the same with. Glue, glue, glue. Yes, you're right, Calamity Crow. Glue. <laughs> and try not to get stuck in the glue. And press. There you go. Now our little pom pom monster is ready. Woohoo! Oh, that's really nice. Remember that pom pom monsters can look just as you want them to. Here are a few more monsters that we have made. It looks amazing! Hi! Today we're going to do a dragonfly out of popsicle sticks. Yay! For that we'll need three popsicle sticks, glue, glitter and sequins, a pipe cleaner, a piece of thread, and googly eyes. How exciting! We start by gluing the popsicle sticks together. You can paint them first if you like. I want to try! Put some glue on the popsicle stick, which will form the body. Glue, glue, glue. And attach the two that will be the wings straight over. Place them so that the popsicle stick, which will be the body, sticks out more in one direction. Something like this. So it becomes the body of the dragonfly on one side and the head on the other side. Now we put on the eyes. All right! Take a drop of glue and attach them to the head like this. A piece of cake! These googly eyes can be bought in ordinary hobby shops. If you don't have them, you can just make your own eyes out of paper and glue on. This is so much fun! There. Hooray! What happens now? Now we take a piece of thread so that we can hang the dragonfly. Okay! Cut off a piece and place it over the wings, like this. Is that really gonna work? Then we take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the wings and the thread, like this. Aha! Just twist and twine the pipe cleaner around the wings. <laughs> this is going smoothly. Something like this. Beautiful! Now the thread is firmly under the pipe cleaner, and the pipe cleaner has become the front body of the dragonfly. Take the ends of the thread and tie them together. Be careful so you don't end up in trouble! <laughs> there! Now you can hang the dragonfly. This is so great! Trabby dabby dabby doo! Now we put a little glue on the wings, like this. Glue, glue, glue. There. Yes! Then we just sprinkle some sequins on the glue. Oh! Use a lot of that! More! More! <laughs> then we do the same with the body. Apply some glue. Glue, glue, glue. And sprinkle glitter. Yeah! More! <laughs> there you go. Now the dragonfly is ready. Wow, it looks great! Here are some examples of other dragonflies that we have done. It looks amazing! Hi, today we're going to make a popsicle stick frog. Aha! For that you need felt fabric, a popsicle stick, a pipe cleaner, colored paper, googly eyes, a pen, scissors, and glue. Exciting! Start by taking the felt fabric and fold it in double. 
Then we're going to cut out the head and the body of the frog. Oh! The easiest way is to draw the shapes on the piece of paper first. Something like this. A piece of cake! Apply the templates to the fabric and draw around them. Great! <laughs> what is that supposed to be anyway? <laughs> and cut it out from the double fabric. Be careful with the scissors! Cut, cut, cut! Cutty, cut, cut! Hurry up a little! <laughs> there! Yeah! Now we have two circles for the head. You betcha! Cut out the two pieces for the body in the same way. Now we have two of each. Okay! Take one of the round circles for the head and put a little glue on the bottom. Glue, glue, glue. Then put on one of the body pieces like this. Perfect! Now it will look something like this. It looks amazing! Take a popsicle stick and put some glue on it this way. Yep! Attach it to the fabric pieces like this. There! Classy! And the popsicle stick is stuck to the pieces of fabric. Easy as pie! Now we will make the arms out of the pipe cleaner. Put on some glue straight over the body like this. Glue, glue, glue! Then attach the pipe cleaner into the glue. You can use any kind of hobby glue. Okay! If you use a glue gun, it's best if an adult takes care of the gluing. Take the second piece of fabric for the body. On with some glue. Easy now! And press the pieces together. Yay! Then we do the same with the head. Glue. And attach the second part. There you go! This is so much fun! This is going smoothly! Then cut out two smaller circles from the double fabric. So that you get four identical small circles. Cut, cut, cut! Glue them on top of the frog's head in this way. Watch your fingers! <laughs> Let them stick out a bit at the top. That's not bad! There! Then we turn the frog over and do the same thing on the other side. Glue and press firmly. This is so great! There! Woohoo! Then glue the googly eyes onto the smaller circles, like this. Glue, glue, glue! Beautiful! There! Now the frog have eyes! Wow! Then we just cut out a mouth in paper. Something like this. And glue it to the frog. Is that really gonna work? Now our frog is ready! Oh! That's really nice! You can make any figures that you like. Only your imagination sets the limits. I'm really gonna try that! Here are some other figures that we have done. Wow! It looks great!